Pi, I'm a great believer in public consultations. So I really believe in the power of people. But I also believe that, and they have the right to be heard, and they have the right for, to, to hear about what you want to say. You know? So every time we do something, let's say when we ban single-use plastics, I think we were the first city to ban single-use plastics. We were the first city to, to pass the gender fair ordinance. I was still just the vice mayor then. Um, we were the first city to pass, and I think the only city to have a right to care card, which gives uh, uh, same-sex uh, couples the right to make medical decisions for one another. We were the first city, and this was even under my father, to have passed a, a reproductive health ordinance long before the national government did that. So Quezon City is known to be a pioneer in many things. No? And, um, and it helps to have open-minded people in our city because the universities are in our city. So that's actually one, for me, one of the uh, assets or the advantages of Quezon City. We are, in general, a more open-minded, progressive city because we have the universities all around us. We have the Human Rights Commission there with us, supporting us. And even our religious sector is very open-minded, such that every time we have something that might seem controversial, like the gender fair ordinance, what I would do is I went to all of them, the Iglesia Ni Cristo, the Catholic Church, the Protestant Church, every single one of them, and you would expect that they would be very opposed to this measure. But when I, when I reassured them, no, we're not talk, gonna talk about um, same-sex marriage here. This is just about equality. This is about inclusivity. This is about everybody getting their basic human right uh, in terms of services. Uh, they were actually very supportive. You know, so you should also give, for me, the benefit of the doubt to people that when you explain to them the real objective of a measure, um, it's, it's when they are ignorant that they are judgmental. Okay, but when it is explained to them, you know, you will be surprised that they are, they're very understanding. So this issue of trans health, okay, this is another one now that I'm pushing for because we understand that our trans brothers and sisters, sometimes they get their medication online without the benefit of uh, a medical, medical practitioner advising them. And in, my, in our ordinance that we are pushing, all our health centers now will be have doctors that will be trained to give advice on trans health to all uh, of our transgender brothers and sisters. So we're having some, um, well, we're having some pushback from the religious sector. But it, when I found out, bucket, bucket. Tungkol naman sa kalusugan nito. Akala nila, we wanted to convince everybody to be a transgender. Parang there's a lot of miscommunication talaga, yeah. and misunderstanding. Gabi naman yun. Oh. Yeah. Then, nung pinapaliwanag na namin, this is about health. Kalusugan. Gusto natin na magkaroon sila ng ligtas uh, na transition. Um, sa halip na nalalagay sa alanganin, sa panganib ang kanilang uh, mga kalusugan. You know, people, ah, ganun ba? Kasi ang dami-dami nagkakwento, nagsasabi, nagmamarites na ito yung ibig sabihin ng batas. Kaya para sa akin, hindi dapat minamadali yung batas, lalo na pag medyo progresibo siya. Kailangan talaga pakinggan mo lahat ng tao, lahat ng hinaing nila, lahat ng mga kuro-kuro nila. Pakinggan mo lahat, paliwanag mo, kasi ang importante dyan, pag may buy-in ka ng taong bayan, napakadali implementahin ang isang batas. Pero kung minadali mo, tas hindi pa naintindihan ng marami, maraming opposition yan, at nahihirapan ka rin sa implementasyon. And that is the reason why when we eventually um, pass the ban on single-use plastics and single-use packaging material, alam nyo, nobody opposed. Not the fast food joints, not the restaurants, nobody opposed. They said, yes, we understand. And what we would like is some time to be able to do the transition properly. And that's, for me, that's the secret. Have faith in the people, but also dialogue with them. And kung kailangan ng mahabang mahabang pag-uusap, gawin natin yan. Kasi trabaho natin yan eh. Kasi at the end of the day, mas madali nakasama mo yung taong bayan kesa sa hindi mo sila kasama.